guys welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is mary if you're a returning subscriber you already know who i am i hope that this camera is positioned properly because i'm using my back camera it gives a better view of the it gives a better view um on today's episode or for this video i just want to do a quick welcome to canada video for new international students who are coming into the country for the first time obviously i am an international student and i've been here for i think um 11 months i guess yeah 10 to 11 months and there's some things that i know that i think that you would want to know i had done a tour of the usask university of saskatchewan which is where i school i had done like a first part video of the campus and the important places that you need to go <coughs> this is a general welcome to canada for a newcomer video on the things that you should do the first things that you should do once you come to canada as a student so first things first um you have passed through immigration you have your study permit and maybe you haven't found a house um but the if you're trying to get a house the most common way that people get a house or people get houses here in canada is through facebook market so just go on Facebook and go on Facebook market and you'll find a variety of places. If you're trying to find the distance from the house to your institution, you can just use your Google Maps, like the regular Google Maps that you're used to, and it will show you the approximate distance and the buses that are available. So you can just make a pick on what is most suitable for you. Um, next thing, you want to open an account. Um, to, to open your account, you need your passport your last your travel document your passport and your study permit and yeah that's about it you need to get a phone number as well when you go to any of the malls that are in the city where you are going you will find a lot of stalls or stands and stores as well that offer this service so you need to have opened your account because you need to well you can do either one of the two <clears throat> you need to um link your there's like a regular debit a monthly debit that occurs for your phone subscription so you need to have a card on there then um yeah you can find any of the stores on, in any of the malls um there's like different networks there's rogers there's fido which is what i use there's like <clears throat> different options so you can make your pick or based on what you desire and then there's different packages like the different prices and different megabytes that you get with that um the next thing that the next thing that you want to do is um register for your sin you need your study permit so you can either do that online just by there's like a you can just google it where to do my sin or your school also has resources so when you go on that website it's it's just a biodata form that you need to fill and then you upload a picture of your study permit and it gets sent to your house or otherwise you can just google where to do my sign next to me or near me and you get available locations close to you where you just go in with this document and you get it the same day i think yeah and next thing I'm not so sure if this thing is present in other provinces or other cities in Canada, but if you're coming to Saskatchewan, there's an office called Open Door Society. So there's different um, locations. If you're coming to Saskatoon, there's one downtown, and it basically gives you all the information that you need, all the like welcome packages. <clears throat> they tell you if you have any questions, they give you resources on how to find jobs. How to settle in they also give you passes to some um like public areas that you ordinarily would pay for so like um like a public swimming pool like a gym they give you passes to that as well so it's free for you for the first year of you being in the country so if you have any questions if you're confused you don't know what next to do or what steps to take you just go to find an open door society next to you or near you and walk in and there's going to be an agent that will tell you everything that you need from settling in to opening an account to registering for whatever whatever you need to register for you can find that information in open door society 
and typically if you're a student your school has like a bus pass that you activate you activate through your 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 portal so you download an app and then you activate it or when you get to your school's welcome desk they would give you like a card some schools give an actual card mine is on my phone is an app that i just activated and then you use it so you use it for the bus is included in your tuition so when you're paying your, your school fees you pay for bus passes as well so you get that as well well if you're coming to the university of Saskatchewan, um there's a welcome center i showed it in the campus tour video there's a welcome center where you go to get all the resources that you need there's like a wellness center if you need to if you need to um if you have if you need to see a doctor you can do that on campus there's a gym there's swimming pools there's a lot of resources that are available for you as a student and sometimes available for your dependents as well if you have dependents if you're coming with dependents um what next was i going to talk about if you have a license if you're coming from <clears throat> if you're coming from the us you're coming from the uk you're coming from i think new zealand australia yeah if you're coming from the power five i've forgotten what they call them if you're coming from any of those countries you simply need to just exchange your license for the license of the province that you are going to but if you come from any other country if you come from nigeria and you have a nigerian driving license you can drive with it for as long as you are as long as your study permit is active so you can drive with your nigerian license as long as your study permit is active otherwise you can go to um an sgi sgi stands for saskatchewan government insurance you can go to one of their offices and you have to do the written test like the computer-based test and then you register for the written test and then if you pass you exchange your Nigerian license for the provincial license, which is the Saskatchewan license. If you're coming to Saskatchewan as well, one of the first things that you want to do after you've gotten a house, like after you've settled in, is you want to get a Saskatchewan identification card. So like Saskatchewan resident card, I think that's what it's called. You do, you get that done at the SGI office as well. You just need to show proof of address. You need to show your study permit and your passport i don't remember if you needed a passport but you get all of those resources online like you can confirm what you need as it applies to you online and you go to an sgi office they'll do a capturing and then they'll give you a temporary paper that has your details as a temporary resident card and then a couple of days or weeks after they'll, they'll mail your actual resident card to you so if you're traveling or if you need an identification for whatever reason you can just use that card um what else was i going to talk about <clears throat> yeah i've spoken about how to get a house so mostly you want to get find the house on facebook market um it's the most convenient is what i used um open a bank account some schools like the university of saskatchewan has like one of those banks on campus so you can go there as well some schools have banks on campus otherwise there will be malls around your campus or in the city where you can go to and you open your account and if you're just coming um winter is fast approaching so the best thing you want to do now is to get if you're in a very cold region like if you're here in fact maybe not even the coldest regions wherever you are as long as it snows as long as you're not in british columbia you want to buy um, snow boots so you don't fall if you wear your normal sneakers sometimes when the snow starts melting it becomes slippery and you can fall and hurt yourself badly so you want to buy snow boots you want to buy like a hat you want to buy a scarf for your neck gloves and a proper winter jacket so trust me you need those things so that anytime that you find yourself outside regardless of what the situation is you always be warm always keep warm so all the things that you need to settle in, you need to get them in place. And then <clears throat> with finding a job, it's not, uh, well, it depends on what you're looking for. It depends on what you're looking for. But your best bet is just apply to as many things as possible. When they're doing career fairs at your school, make sure that you go, talk to people, look for volunteer positions. And that's where you get to meet people when you go to all these volunteering positions or volunteering events. 
that's where you get to meet people and you never know you might get linked up with something but don't get tired one advice i'm going to give you concerning work is do not get tired of applying do not get tired i have been in this country for almost a year like i said i only started working like a week ago do not get tired of applying so you're going to apply a lot and you're going to need a lot of patience and you want to cut down on your expenses as much as you can it's difficult to do because like the country is just expensive generally with buying food and all of that but you want to cut down on your expenses as much as you can so that the money that you came with the money that you have is going to sustain you for as long as possible before you can get a job but if you're trying to get a job just keep applying keep applying and then god willing something is going to come up if there's something that i've missed or there's something that i haven't spoken about in this video um you can let me know or ask your questions in the comment section of this video um also <clears throat> things are not how they were again a lot of things are changing so you want to make sure that you have a strategic plan you want to make sure that you know exactly what it is that you're doing so if you are if your course is for two years you want to make sure that only oh, these two years you utilize it properly you do what it is that you're supposed to do fix what needs to be fixed because the time goes by very very fast i mean i remember when i was just in the uk i remember when i was even looking for the admission to come to school here and i've done one year already you can imagine i'm on my second year now so it is a lot the time goes by fast so you need to make proper plans and you need to not to get discouraged and make friends as well there are a lot of events that happen on campus there's if you're in usas if you're in university of saskatchewan there's like rugby long jump there's a lot of things that happen on, on campus like american football i i think our team is called the huskies there's like so many things that happen make sure that you get plugged in join the school like the graduate association or your faculty or departmental association so you can get used to you can get to meet other people and get resources and all of that so yeah that's what i want to talk about in this video i'm going to do a part two of the usas campus tour and um yeah i hope you subscribe like share comment binge on my other content this one is getting into my eyes and i need to go and binge on my other content most most importantly binge on my other content and let me know if you have questions or thoughts in the comment section see you